Hi everybody and welcome to Know What You're Talking About. Today we're working on Topic 3 DQ1. Now here's the weird thing about Topic 3. Both of the DQs in this topic go back to Chapter 6 which is actually included with Topic 2. Chapter 6 was an important chapter and one we didn't talk very much about so the DQs go back there. As a side note, be sure to to uh, follow up on some of the other problems that I post in the discussion this week in topic three so that you get practice with this week's topics too. But let's look at this discussion question. Okay, consider the market for white athletic socks, which consumers consider to be identical products. If the demand is very elastic and the supply is very inelastic, how would the burden of a new tax on athletic socks be shared between consumer and producer? What if the situation were reversed? A very inelastic demand and a very elastic supply. How would that change the way consumers and producers share the burden of the new tax? Justify your answer. It's kind of a complicated question. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the rubric here and see exactly what you're going to need to cover in order to get the points. So here's the rubric, class know how to get 100% on the DQs and participation. So let's open that up. And it looks like you explain the tax burden when the demand is elastic and supply is inelastic, and that's worth two and a half. And then you explain the tax burden when demand is inelastic and supply is elastic, and that's two and a half. So you really just have to know the two scenarios and the difference between the two. Where are you going to find that? Well, as I mentioned, all of the DQs this week come from Chapter 6, and Chapter 6 was in Topic 2. So I flipped over to MindTap here, and this is the MindTap home screen. You're very familiar. We're actually going to open Topic 2 so that we can get to chapter six and go to the interactive textbook and wait patiently while it loads. Now this is a question about elasticity and tax incidents. What happens with the taxes? So I've already opened this up to 6-2c. That's where you're going to find this. And look at this. This is figure nine. Figure nine is exactly what we're talking about here. What if, what if one is elastic and the other is inelastic? What if the situation is reversed? It's all right here. Very easy for you to find, very easy for you to go over. Now, I'm just betting that there's some of you who are saying, but I can't read graphs. That's the beauty of this interactive textbook. Check it out. Okay, so now, we're on graph and it just shows the flat graph just the way it is. But if you click on this button, it will build this graph for you one step at a time. And so you see this and then this, and there are explanations up here as you go. You can click through each point, new explanations. You can really understand this graph thoroughly and once you understand this graph thoroughly, you're going to be in a good position to answer topic three, DQ1. I look forward to reading your response.